Hey guys, what's up? Pastor Baller here. We are now in this first game of this April 2nd, 2022 NBA game day. We got the game between Charlotte Hornets with a record of 40 and 37 visiting the home team, Philadelphia 76ers with a record of 46 and 30. The game will be at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 12.30 a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. So first off, let's uh, try to check on um, the Eastern Conference standings for these two teams. For Philadelphia 76ers, they are at number four. Um, and for their last 10 games, they have won five. So they're still doing okay. It's just that approaching this game, they have lost three in a row. For Charlotte Hornets, they are at number nine, um, so it seems like they would actually make it. And uh, you know, they, they they're kind of they're already safe actually. Uh, they're already safe uh, on that tournament uh, because for their last ten games, they have actually won eight. So uh, they've had a, they've had a good storm, um, if you know what I'm saying. Approaching this game, they're also coming off a win. All right, so on this particular game, um, Philadelphia 76ers would have the home court advantage. In terms of momentum, we got to give it to Charlotte Hornets, though. All right, and in terms of fatigue, well, um, let me double check, but I, 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 I think both teams, yeah, both teams were able to rest yesterday, so we can just skip that part, okay? Um, and let's go ahead and check on the injury list for this particular matchup. Um, for Charlotte Hornets, there's just one. And again, that's Gordon Hayward. Um, he's still out because of his ankle. Uh, oh, you know what? It says here that he's now probable. He's now probable uh, for this game against the 76ers. That's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, for Philadelphia 76ers, though, it has been like this for games now. And again, props to uh, the coaching staff and the, you know, the doctors and everything uh, for Philadelphia yeah, I'm just checking. Yep, there's no list because everyone's okay, everyone's healthy, and everyone is available for Philadelphia. So let's go ahead and check on the uh, spread. It opened up with Philadelphia minus eight, um, and as we speak, it actually uh, it actually was brought down to minus five point five. I don't know, maybe because of uh, um, Hayward's uh, Hayward's uh, status being now improbable. Hmm. Okay, um, Philadelphia 76ers, uh, they, all, they already know that they will be part of that uh, of that top six. They, you know, they won't need to go through that uh, tournament anymore. Now for Charlotte Hornets, it's the other way around. They're, they know that they are already in, but they got to go through that tournament still. So uh, the, the, uh, the difficulty for these kind of games is that, um, um, what shall I call this, uh, the competition ain't the same anymore because <laughs> again they already know uh, where they would land and sometimes uh, some teams actually just rest their players up sometimes they would want to just uh, do and treat it the same way that they, they that they treat uh, the previous games because of course they want to keep the momentum and all that and again we just don't know we just don't know uh, what's in the coach's mind um, that you know that's what makes these the, uh, these uh, matchups harder than the usual but on this particular matchup, I think I'm gonna side with Charlotte Hornets because uh, number one, they are actually on you know on a roll, and I don't see any reason for them to really rest uh, their stars or their starters. You know, um, if I were the coach, I would go ahead and try to uh, maintain as much momentum as possible, um, especially the, the winning over uh, a team like Philadelphia 76ers would be a, a huge addition to our momentum. So I want I want to have that, especially. If uh, Gordon Hayward is probably going uh, coming back, you know it. Uh, it'll be it'll be better if you know it will come along with the with the win. For Philadelphia 76ers, I'm pretty sure that they would want to that they would want to win now, unless of course they're trying to avoid a certain team and they would want to really lose. I, I don't know. Again, we don't know. It's it's the coach's decision now. Um, but obviously they have uh, the capability to actually beat Charlotte Hornets. To cover the spread, if if we're just talking about the capability, um, especially offense-wise, Philadelphia must be one of the best. But in terms of defense, uh, that's going to be their weakness. Um, they still haven't figured out how to defend, especially when James Harden uh, came in. It's totally, you know, sometimes it's it's messed up. Sometimes there's really an an 
ultra open uh, opponent because again sometimes it's miscommunication and all that but their defense is not just the same um, with Charlotte Hornets uh, a very good team in, uh, in offense uh, Philadelphia 76ers might you know might have a might have a problem with that um, but then again I respect the capability of Harden and Embiid and so I think uh, I'm gonna just uh, pick Charlotte Hornets with a plus on it plus 5.5 uh, I think there's a possibility that Philadelphia 76ers skills would still um, overshadow the Hornets's uh, the Hornets's estate situation right now um, but they think the spread of 5.5 is enough for me to put my money on them so my pick would be Charlotte Hornets plus 5.5 Hornets plus 5.5 peace out pase love and God bless